King of the Cop. King of the Cop. I have a hat. I have a Magic Cop hat. <laughs> I was running through the six with my wolf. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. You know how that shit go. Running. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. And today we have great news for Pokemon Go and Shiny Pokemon. But before we get into Pokemon Go, Shiny Pokemon, let's talk about trading card Pokemon, Shiny Pokemon. I am giving away this Magikarp Shiny card. On my channel, once we hit 200 subscribers, um, we are really close. If we can hit 200 subscribers before Sunday and get 30 likes on this video, I will be giving it away. To be in the running for this actual giveaway, I will just need you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on the video letting me know how many Magikarp candies you have as of right now in your Pokemon Go Pokedex. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. This is the exact description from Bulbapedia for those of you that do not know what a shiny Pokemon is. Now, it says, Pokemon with different coloration to what is usual for its species. It is one of the many differences that a Pokemon can have within its species. So the many differences they are talking about is gender specific differences that make the physical Pokemon look different, not just the coloration. And then a shiny Pokemon would also be a difference, not in the physical form of the Pokemon, but as in the coloration. I'm going to let you know what we know so far about shiny Pokemon. First thing is first, a lot of people are asking this question and uh, I feel like I need an answer for you guys. Shiny Pokemon do not, and I repeat, they do not change the stats of the Pokemon. It is only color change, that is it. Also, there was a big color differential added in to Pokemon Go over the last update that made Gyarados and Magikarp look different colored. That is their color now. Gyarados now is a darker blue and Magikarp is now a more vibrant red. And I want to say they did this so you could differentiate between a shiny and a regular Magikarp and Gyarados. The color of Magikarp when he is shiny is gold and when he evolves he turns into a red Gyarados. Now, those are the only two shiny Pokemon we have seen in the game so far for Pokemon Go. The main series game, when they released shiny Pokemon, they let all of them loose at once. As of right now, it seems like it's only Magikarp and Gyarados that you can get shiny in Pokemon Go. Another question that is asked a lot about shiny Pokemon, is it gender specific? And that is no. You can get a female shiny Pokemon and you can get a male shiny Pokemon. In this case, male and female Gyarados or male and female Magikarp. And if you are wondering how rare it is to get a shiny Magikarp at the moment, it is one in every 8,000 Magikarp that is shiny. So the odds of you catching one soon are probably not good, but you will most likely get one before I do because I have the worst luck with anything. Now to compare the rarity of a shiny Pokemon from the main series game to Pokemon Go, Right now, Magikarp is 1 in 8,000 Magikarp. In the main series game, it was 1 in 8,192 Pokemon. So, kind of similar, not exactly, but kind of similar. But to break it down even further, a Dragonite does not spawn in 1 in 10,000 spawns. Less than one Dragonite will spawn in 10,000 Pokemon spawns. Now, if you take that with a grain of salt, because Dragonite is one out of every 10,000 Pokemon spawns. It sounds like this Shining Magikarp is one out of 8,000 Magikarp spawns. So that would put a Shiny Pokemon more rare than a Dragonite. A few other things I wanted to cover so you guys are informed on this whole entire Shiny update. And that is, if I were to go out and catch a Shiny Pokemon, which we all know I probably will not get lucky enough to see one of these things, for quite some time but if i were to go out and catch a shiny magikarp outside of my house and you were to walk up and catch that same magikarp it will most likely not be shiny for you um, it is still that one in eight thousand chance and it is based off of the player so it's a one in eight thousand chance for the player and each player that comes up and catches that same magikarp so if one of your friends catches a shiny magikarp and tells you 
Hey, the Shiny Magikarp is here. He is spawned right now. Do not rush there because you still have a 1 in 8,000 chance of that same Magikarp being a Shiny Magikarp. Now, another interesting thing is when you run into a Magikarp in the wild, it will show up as a regular Magikarp. It will not show up as a gold Shiny Magikarp in the wild. Once you click on it, then the animation will be shown of the actual Magikarp. It will turn gold and there will be some stars or some kind of flashes around Magikarp. I guess I wouldn't know. I've only been watching videos because I don't have one. <laughs> but like I said, it will not be gold in the environment once you click on the Magikarp then it will turn gold so make sure you're not Pokemon Go plusing any Magikarp at the moment and make sure you click on every Magikarp that you see because man a red Gyarados that is badass if you do so happen to catch a shiny Magikarp if you evolve him he will stay shiny and he will turn into a red Gyarados it will not go to the dark blue Gyarados it will turn into the red Gyarados so you'll have a shiny Gyarados so like I said make sure you're catching those Magikarps and paying attention to what you're transferring and what you're catching one of the big controversies around this is a lot of people were wondering if it would change your Pokedex entries no it does not Gyarados is still the same species whatever color it is Magikarp is still the same species whatever color it is so once we get to the video with Caleb when he catches his Magikarp and turns it into a red Gyarados you will see in his Pokedex that uh, nothing changes absolutely nothing changes so that is good because if it added an extra Pokemon scene in my Pokedex I would be thoroughly upset and last but not least these Pokemon will show up shiny in gyms so if someone drops either one of these Pokemon in a gym you will see them as that color. You will see them as the gold Magikarp, as the red Gyarados. So don't be surprised if you start seeing red Gyarados is popping around because I've already seen two. Now let's go ahead and get into the things that we are not 100% sure about shiny Pokemon. And that is, are there shiny Gyaradoses in the wild? As of right now, I cannot confirm or deny that there is wild red Gyaradoses. I have only seen the wild Magikarp be a shiny Pokemon, and I have not seen anything on Reddit or the Silk Road that would make me believe otherwise. And one of the last points I do want to cover today is, it seems like it is only Magikarp. Like I said, we have not seen the Gyarados shiny in the wild, at least I have not, and all of my friends have not yet, on Silk Road, on Reddit, on Twitter, anything. But, it seems like it is only Magikarp, and how fitting is that? It is the water event. So hopefully after the water event ends in a couple of days, then they'll release more shinies. I know that this will be my favorite shiny to get, but a shiny Dragonite, that would be insane. Now guys, I am going to let Caleb take over with his silky smooth voice and uh, show you his Magikarp turning into a red Gyarados. And uh, he'll also show you that it does not change the Pokedex entry. So. Take it away, Caleb. So today, I'm going to be doing a uh, shiny Magikarp evolution. I just caught it uh, not too long ago and figured, well, I would get an evolution recorded on video. You can see right here, it's the shiny Magikarp CP50 compared to another regular Magikarp. You can see all the stars around it. He's gold. Caught in Des Moines, Iowa. And let's go ahead and evolve it. Into a shiny red Gyarados. Bite and outrage. That's so awesome. I'm just show scene 11, caught 11 for me right now. Maybe after the update comes out, it'll uh, be different. But in the meantime, that's my evolution. Thanks again, Caleb, for sending me that video. I am super jealous. And I know that if Instinct ever gets a gym around Des Moines, you'll probably drop him in it. But 
I probably don't have to worry about that, right? <laughs> So guys, the only way to catch these shiny Pokemon is to get lucky. Like I said, 1 in 8,000 chance. So don't listen to what everybody's saying about, oh, you do this, you do that, you do this. You don't. There's no specific way on how to do it. So just make sure you farm as many as possible, and uh, hopefully you can get lucky. But guys, if you have any more questions for me about shiny Pokemon or anything in general for Pokemon Go, go ahead and leave them in the description below. And do not forget to enter into my giveaway of that shiny Magikarp card. I will be picking a winner this Sunday if we can hit the 30 likes and 200 sub goal. So, thank you for watching everybody. I have been your host, Beans and Rice. I hope you have a great day and we will. See you later.